Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to do word problems in class 4 that involve both addition and subtraction. We know that addition and subtraction are mathematical operations on numbers. Let us do the first sum. In an election, candidate A got 3458 votes less than candidate B. If candidate B got 2,58,865 votes, how many votes did candidate A get? The first step is to write down whatever information is available to us. So, let us write down the details now. Number of votes candidate B got is equal to 2,58,865. This is the bigger number, so we first write that down. What is the next detail given? Number of votes candidate A got less than candidate B. What is that? 3,458. Now what do we have to find? How many votes did candidate A get? So number of votes candidate A got is equal to 2,58,865 minus 3,458 because we know what is the number of votes candidate B got? We know what is the number of votes candidate A got less than candidate B. When you subtract these two, you get the number of votes candidate A got. So let us write down the numbers in their appropriate places and perform the subtraction operation. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. 5 minus 8 cannot be done because 5 is lesser than 8. So you next move on to the tens place and regroup 6 tens. It becomes 5 tens and 10 ones. We already have a 5 in ones place. So 10 plus 5 will be 15 ones now. 15 minus 8 in ones place will give you 7. 5 minus 5 is 0. 8 minus 4 is 4. 8 minus 3 is 5. And remaining numbers 5 and 2, take and write them down as such. So what is the answer you get? 2,55,000. 407. So this is the number of votes candidate A got. That is our question, right? So take and write down the answer. Therefore, candidate A got 2,55,407 votes. Let us do the next sum. 60,000 copies of school books have to be printed and bound. In a week, 23,450 books were completed. How many are left? So here, what are the details given? Total number of copies of books to be printed is equal to 60,000. Number of books completed in a week is equal to 23,450. So what is the number of books that is left to be completed? Number of copies left is equal to total number of copies to be printed minus Number of books that is completed in a week. So, 60,000 minus 23,450. Both of these are 5 digit numbers. So, you will not have any problem in writing them appropriately one below the other. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. 0 minus 0 is 0. In tens, hundreds and thousands place, you have zeros in the bigger number. So, you move on to the ten thousands place and you regroup six ten thousands to be 5 ten thousand and 10 thousands. This 10 thousands has to be regrouped again. So you will get 9 thousands and 10 hundreds. This 10 hundreds also has to be regrouped again. This will become 9 hundreds and 10 tens. So now you can do this subtraction easily. 10 minus 5 in tens place is 5. Next in hundreds place 9 minus 4 is 5. In thousands place 9 minus 3 is 6. And in 10,000's place, 5 minus 2 is 3. So what is the answer? 36,550. What is this? This is the number of copies that is left to be printed. Take and write down the answer now. Therefore, number of copies left to be printed were 36,550. Let us do the next sum. The population of Emerald City is 34,679. The population of Pearl City is 55,128. Which city 
has larger population and how much more. First, let us take and write down the details. Population of Emerald City is equal to 34,679. Population of Pearl City is equal to 55,138. So, first we have to find out which city has larger population. So, now we have to do comparison of numbers. Both of these are five digit numbers. So, we'll have to look at the leftmost place value, which is the 10,000th place value. We have 3 and 5, and we know that 5 is greater than 3, which means that Pearl City, which has a population of 55,128, is greater than the population of Emerald City. So, next, what is the next question? Once you know which has the larger population, we have to find out how much more. Let us do that calculation now. Population of Pearl City more than Emerald City is equal to population of Pearl City minus population of Emerald City. So, 55,128 minus 34,679. Write down the numbers one below the other and begin the subtraction from the ones place. Ones place you have 8 minus 9. We know that 8 is lesser than 9. So, we want the tens place to borrow. So, regroup the 2 tens which becomes 1 ten and 10 one. So, 10 plus 8 is 18 now at the ones place. 18 minus 9 in the ones place will give you 9. In tens place, 1 minus 7 cannot be done again. So, you move on to the hundreds place and borrow. 100 will become 0 hundreds and you will get 10 tens. So, 10 plus 1 is 11 tens now in the tens place. 11 minus 7 is what? 4. Now, in hundreds place, once again, it is 0 minus 6, which cannot be done. Next, you move on to the thousands place to borrow. In thousands place, you have five thousands. You regroup five thousands to be four thousands and ten hundreds. So, now you have ten hundreds in hundreds place. Ten minus six is four. In thousands place, four minus four is zero. And in ten thousands place, five minus three is two. So, what is the answer? 20,449. It is the number of population by which Pearl City is more than Emerald City. Take and write down the answer now. Therefore, Pearl City has more population than Emerald City by 20,449 people. Hope it is clear so far. In the upcoming sums, we will be doing problems that involve both addition and subtraction. So, stay with me till the end of this video. Mr. Raju earns rupees 25,675 per month. Mrs. Raju earns rupees 23,700. They spend rupees 35,000 in a month. How much money do they save every month? So, let us write down the details that is given. Amount earned by Mr. Raju per month is equal to 25,675 rupees. Amount earned by Mrs. Raju per month is equal to rupees 23,700. With these two details, what can you find? Total amount earned by Mr. and Mrs. Raju per month. So, what is that? It is rupees 25,675 plus rupees 23,700. Let us add these two numbers now. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 0 is 7. 6 plus 7 is 13, 3 carry over 1, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, 2 plus 2 is 4. So, what is the answer? 49,375. It is the amount that is earned by Mr. and Mrs. Raju per month. What are the other details given? They spend rupees 35,000 in a month. So, amount they spend in a month is equal to rupees 35,000. What is the question? How much money do they save every month? How will you find that? We know the total amount earned by Mr. and Mrs. Raju per month. We know that is the amount they spend in a month is rupees 35,000. With these two information, what can we find? How much money do they save every month? So, amount they save every month is equal to amount earned per month minus amount they spend in a month. So, 49,375 minus rupees 35,000. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. 5 minus 0 is 5. 7 minus 0 is 7. 3 minus 0 is 3. 
9 minus 5 is 4 and 4 minus 3 is 1. So, what is the answer? 14,375 is the amount they save every month. Take and write down the answer. Therefore, Mr. and Mrs. Raju save rupees 14,375 every month. Let us do the next sum. There were 19,259 bags of rice in a wholesale shop. 4,128 bags were sold on Monday. 3,890 bags were sold on Tuesday. How many bags of rice remain in the shop? Let us write down the statements. Number of rice bags in the wholesale shop is equal to 19,259. Number of bags that were sold on Monday is equal to 4,128. Number of bags that were sold on Tuesday is equal to 3,890. With these two information, what can we find out? Total number of bags that were sold is equal to 4,128 plus 3,890. Write down the numbers one below the other and begin the addition from the ones place. 8 plus 0 is 8, 2 plus 9 is 11, 1 carry over 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 8 is 10, 0 carry over 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. So, the answer is 8,018. This is the total number of bags that were sold. Now, what do we have to find? Total number of rice bags that remain in the shop. We know the number of rice bags in the wholesale shop and also the number of bags that were sold. With these two information, we can find out number of rice bags that remain in the shop. So, 19,259 minus 8,018. Write down their numbers at appropriate places and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 9 minus 8 is 1, 5 minus 1 is 4, 2 minus 0 is 2, 9 minus 8 is 1 and take and write down the ones such that you will get the answer to be 11,241. What is the answer now? Therefore, 11,241 rice bags remain in the shop. Let us do the next sum. From a wire 40,000 meter long, two pieces of 10,450 meter and 12,250 meter were cut. Find the length of the remaining wire. Total length of the wire is equal to 40,000 meters. Length of the first piece of wire cut from the total length is equal to 10,450 meter. Length of the second piece of wire cut from the total length is equal to 12,250 meter. Total length of the wire cut is equal to 10,450 plus 12,250. Write down the numbers one below the other and do the addition. You will get the answer to be 22,700 meter. What do we have to find? Length of the remaining wire for which we have to subtract 40,000 meters minus the total length of the wire cut which is 22,700. Write down the numbers one below the other and do the subtraction from the ones place. What is the answer you get when you subtract these two numbers? 17,300 meters. So that is the answer. Take and write down the answer. Therefore, length of the remaining wire is 17,300 meters. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 4 under the topic subtraction for the children. Of which I have covered this topic. Subtraction of 5 digit numbers with regrouping. Checking subtraction by addition. Combining addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction of money, each of these topics in separate videos. In this video, we saw story sum. In my upcoming video, we will be seeming mental math and subtraction worksheet. Links to all the relevant videos will be given below in the description box for your quick and easy access. Or you may also click on the in screen video, which will take you to the playlist containing all the videos for class 4 subtraction. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic on subtraction. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. And do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos. See you again.